This presentation demonstrates arthrodesis of the ankle joint through a single postural-lateral approach. In this case of a young hemophilic patient, the ankle joint has been destroyed, but all the remaining joints are to be saved and will function fully. The first step is the approach to the joint, taking down the articular surfaces and the adaptation in length of the distal fibula. Sagittal screw fixation of the tibia to the talus finishes this step. The second step is the frontal screw fixation of the tibia to the talus percutaneously. The third step is the fixation of the distal fibula to the tibia and the talus using two screws. The first step. The model is a synthetic bone with the joints embedded in synthetic foam material. The green dotted line shows the skin incision. It's situated about 5 millimeters medial to the medial edge of the heel cord and is approximately 10 centimeters long. This is the lateral malleolus. By rotating the model internally, the heel cord becomes visible. The skin incision is made. The self-retaining wound spreaders hold the wound open. Here the calcaneus the talus and the tibia are shown. This is the subtalar joint and the ankle joint. The posterior aspect of the ankle joint is approached through a capsulotomy. The foam that has infiltrated the joint is removed. The approach to the tibia is extended proximally. The capsulotomy is extended medially to reach the internal aspect of the medial malleolus, which is debrided. The distal fibula is shown with the posterior syndesmosis. A small bone lever is placed subperiosteally on the lateral aspect of the distal fibula. The black marks show the optimal position for the subtraction osteotomy of the fibula. The proximal osteotomy is begun using the oscillating saw. The distal osteotomy is performed, and a 1 to 1.5 centimeter slice of fibula is removed. The tibial fibular syndesmosis is removed using a rongeur. In addition, the cortical bone of both tibia and fibula is removed with a thin osteotome. The femoral distractor is placed between the tibia and the calcaneus on the medial aspect of the limb. The ankle joint is distracted. By progressive distraction, the whole joint is visualized. All remaining articular surfaces, subchondral bone, and other bone structures are removed to correct the alignment. A bone spreader helps local distraction.
The remaining soft tissue is taken away from the front of the joint using the rongeur and the osteotome. After preparation and alignment of the contact surfaces for fusion in the correct axes, the laminar spreader is removed. The distractor is released. The best position is found through manual adaptation. Using a long 3.2 mm drill bit, a screw hole is made from the tibia to the talus by aiming at the tailor head. The tibia is over drilled with the 4.5 mm drill bit. Using the large countersink, a cavity is created to accommodate the screw head in an inclined position. The drill hole is measured. The 6.5 mm tap and corresponding sleeve are used for cutting the thread. A 70 to 75 millimeter long, 6.5 millimeter cancellous bone screw with a 32 millimeter thread is inserted. The second step. Above the medial malleolus, which is shown here, the optimal entrance of the transversal fixation between the tibia and the talus is shown. A stab incision is made. The thread hole is made using the 3.2 millimeter drill. Then comes the gliding hole by over-drilling with the 4.5 mm drill. The depth is checked. A 6.5 mm tap is used to make the thread. A 6.5 mm cancellous bone screw with a 16 mm thread is introduced. The sub tailor mobility is checked after the tibio tailor fixation. The third step. The distal fibula is provisionally fixed using a Kirschner wire. A stab incision is made to optimally position the first screw. The thread hole is bored, now using the 2.5 mm drill. For the fibulotibial front screw fixation, a 3.5 mm drill bit is used to over drill. The depth is measured. The threads are cut with the 3.5 mm tap. 
A 3.5 millimeter fully threaded cortical screw is used to fix the distal fibula to the tibia. The K wire is removed and a 3.5 millimeter screw is inserted through the fibula into the talus. The correct length, flexion, and rotation of the distal fibula now are checked. Interstices may be filled with cancellous bone chips. Finally, the correct orientation of the foot is confirmed. The axis of the leg is in valgus relative to the orientation of the heel.